Howdy plebs and welcome back to War Game Red Dragon. It has been a decently long time ago since I last even went into the solo tab for uh, this game. Uh, most of the, most of my time was spent in either the deck menu or in the multiplayer menu of this game. Uh, however, today is the first day. Well, today is the day, I guess, not the first day. Today is the day I will start the. Clyde Mount Narodnaya campaign. Um, I absolutely have no idea how to do this. I literally, I think I played like, I, I looked at the map for a very long time today, <clears throat> like off cam, like, you know, like while I wasn't recording. I looked at the map for a very long time, had no idea what to do, finally come up with a, some sort of smart idea, but the main thing is I'll need a lot, and I mean, uh, seriously, a lot of your help. So today we're gonna do one battle, um, and set up everything, and hopefully with a lot of your help and comments, I can make my way through Japan and become victorious. So, uh, Putin, or whoever was the leader of Russia in 1984, I'm sorry, I should know this, doesn't hate me and doesn't, you know, execute me or whatever. So, um, also, I have a very bad cold, so if you hear me sniffing or cuffing or, like, moaning, um, I have a headache, my, my throat hurts, and as you can hear, I have a very clogged up nose or whatever, or I don't know how you say that in English. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's like, I don't know, I, I feel terrible. I, I'd rate myself like a 2 out of 10 right now. Anyway, hope you enjoy, here we go. Japan-Soviet relationships are poisoned by the Soviet occupation of the Kuril Islands. Hence, the two countries have not been able to ratify a formal peace treaty since the end of World War II. 1979 to 1980, the Soviet Union increases troops and naval assets in the Kuril area. Japan retaliates by hardening its stance towards the USSR and increasing its military spending. 1982. Japan allows the deployment of U.S. advanced F-16 bombers on its soil. The USSR answers by transferring SS-20 missiles from Europe. 1983. The Japanese Prime Minister declares his intent to turn Japan into an unsinkable aircraft carrier. The reply from the USSR is immediate. In an era of modern technology, unsinkable aircraft carriers do not exist. November 1984, the joint U.S.-Japanese naval exercise Fleet X-85 in the Sea of Japan gets as close as 500 nautical miles from Vladivostok. The Soviet fleet is put on high alert. December 4th, 1984, Fleet X ends, but Soviet Navy intelligence and the Politburo are convinced that it was just a rehearsal for a real imminent strike. The green light is given for a preemptive strike on Japan and its U.S. naval bases. December 6, 1984. When the coded message, Climb Mount Norodnaya, is transmitted to Soviet forces, several airborne and naval infantry divisions are ready to strike Japan. At dawn, the first wave of Soviet paratroopers lands on Japan, while a mechanized thrust strikes from the Kuril Islands. All right, so I, I, I feel too bad to actually read these texts. There's going to be a lot of them, so I'm just going to allow you to read every one for like 10 seconds, and if you aren't quick enough, I'll... Like, you should pause the video or whatever. Actually, while he is... While you're reading what he's saying, or not, um, I have very much been waiting to play this for a, a very long time. Wait, why did Siri just act... Siri, shut up. I don't want you to activate. Uh, what the hell? Sorry, I was just fucking Siri on my iPhone. I was like fucking thinking I was talking to her. What a bitch. Um, I've been wanting to play this for a very, very long time. He, but the way this guy looks like a younger Putin, I think. It's just that um, making one video a day, I really couldn't have Ruse and like other series and this going and like, I don't know, keep playing other games. But now, since I'm making two videos a day, I can easily allow, like, one or two War Gamer Dragon videos a week and, you know, not not have people think that I stopped playing Men of War or, or like, Company Heroes. So, um, yeah, hope you read this. 
Um, I have read this like a billion times before. So, and then again, I don't really need to read it because my plan here is pretty simple. And it might be a little bit weird, but you're gonna find out. I I, I tested this like I didn't actually like play through the entire campaign, but I tested like this first turn or two first turns, and um, they worked out pretty well. At least I'd like to think so. First of all, the main thing I'm gonna do is this carrier. Actually, no, let me call the other carrier first. There's a uh, Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov has arrived. Military, oh, airborne marine troops, and offensive aircraft. All right, use hellborne troops for inland assaults. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna move this into the map, into Naval Sector Tango. And. Um, I want to capture Gobo as soon as possible because capturing an airfield means you get access to uh, planes. Like you can start buying planes from the buy menu. And right now we can't. But if we do, we get like MiG-29s with cluster bombs. We get like IL-102s. We get uh, napalm bombers. I mean, actually, I think we get napalm bombers in this, in this, in the, in the Minsk as well, already. But you get the point. Yeah, these are napalm bombers. You can get very good planes, MiG 29s, IL 102s. Uh, I I forgot there's like more. I think there's like actually I think there's also like a flanker squad like SU 27s. I can't remember exactly, but the point is getting an airfit early on is gonna make this a very well a lot easier. So I also know that this little naval unit it's gonna move up north. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this the carrier miss Mi why well, I can't even talk the Minsk is going down together with the 106 naval infantry regiment. And the 319th Naval Infantry Regiment also going downstairs. Uh, we cannot move any of these two units here, not, not the neither the tanks nor the rifles, because they have zero initiative. So we're going to have to wait till next turn. I do want to attack this, and sending an a armored brigade or an armored unit into a zone, you will need to end the turn, and you cannot attack until the, new, the next turn. So... And I don't want to wait. I, I can't wait forever. So what we're going to do, this has been very, I, I have thought about this a billion times. We're going to get the 319th helicopter regiment, call it in over here in the Kuznetsov, and we're going to fly it over to the left. Now they'd be like, Sherman, what the fuck are you doing? Well, the thing for this is, this is a five point naval region. And next turn, I'm going to attack Gobo with my infantry regiment, which will be able to move and attack in the same turn, and with my helicopter regiment, which can move to two, two spaces in one turn. So next turn, I'll, I won't earn 10 plus, wait, next turn I won't earn just 10 points, or however, uh, I don't know how many points, uh, yeah, next turn I won't just earn 10 points, I'll earn 15 points for free. Like, it's a free point gain for, like, legitimate. Like, I don't see why I wouldn't do that. And I can actually send them back to Gobo in the next turn. So, with that being said, I figured that, you know, that was a good idea. Um, we're not going to move these VDV. I'm going to wait for you guys in the comment section below to give me an indication of, like, what is a smart idea, where to send them. Um, and I don't really think they're in the first turn you really should send them anywhere really you know everything is very stacked up and everything uh, but you know please do give me advice on you know what units to buy especially for like you know for the VDV where to deploy them to when to deploy them to um, I can't promise I'll follow your exact strategies but at least are going to help me uh, you know come up with an idea of what to do at Gobo and this is not lightly defended they have um, a lot of these ATGM infantry, you know, they're not amazing, but, you know, they're still pretty, oh, sorry, not amazing, not ATGM, sorry, our uh, recorders rifle infantry. Um, a couple of these Ren Sao, which not really, you know, that that's scary. Um, they have uh, more infantry, a lot of these you know, standard, like, line infantry, and another, like, 16 of those uh, recorders rifle infantry. But the main issue is, well, not so much with these helicopters. They're tow helicopters, and there's only like six of them. And the hell, the, the well, I mean, the paratroopers, they're pretty good, but you, they only get like 12 of them, so you know, you can deal with those too. The issue is with these guys, the Q Madashiki. They get 16 of them, and look at those stats 170 points with an amazing gun. That is 70% accuracy and a 65% stabilizer on 22 AP power with 20 frontal armor. 
dealing with this is a pain in the ass, and that's why you get these helicopters, uh, because you get MI-24 VPs with them, and all of MI-24 Ps. So, well, that's enough talking, I guess. Let's enter turn. Allow Japan to move their units around. And they're also moving the South Korean uh, fleet up to my, uh, my my beach. With, like That's what he's saying here, that these guys want to be heroes and want to cut me off. Not going to allow that to happen. We're going to send the carrier force to attack because I want to push these back. If I manage to push over here, I will be able to get five more points. And if I can I'll also push my carrier force the same way to do a two-pronged attack. And I am aware, and I'm not sure if this is cheating or not, but people have told me that eventually the Americans are going to uh, like support the Japanese, and they'll be coming from down here. However, if I'm able to get my carrier, full, both of my carriers down here, and stop most of their landing forces, or even their entire task force, you know, all their, their ships and their, like, landing units from even reaching the Japanese coast, this could make it a lot easier for me. So now, I have no idea what to do with these units, and I would love to have your, you know, your comments and suggestions, because in this episode, we're only going to really fight against the Japanese in Gobo. We're inside the first objective, the airfield is intact and well defended, blah de blah de blah Helicopters, one, two. And there we go, at Gobo, we're gonna attack. And we have 5,000 points, they have 7,000 points, but then again, like, uh, where are these guys? They, that's like at least two, two, maybe a little bit over 2,000 points worth of just these tanks, which is pretty insane. So uh, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna get going, and we're gonna focus mainly on a sort of defense over in Anna. Um, the thing is that they're gonna send, like, they're gonna send up those tanks, and I don't have anything to deal with those tanks besides my choppers, so I'm going to have to secure my choppers and make sure that they don't die. The way I'm going to do this, however, it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to get three FOBs, and this is going to be even more funny. I can get a fucking trained FOB. I'm not sure why that's a thing, but I can I can get one, so why not? This is going to be on my main supply zone. It's pretty risky. I'm aware of this, but it also means that my choppers will have to fly all the way back to Osaka. Sorry, <coughs> Osaka. And thus making it a lot more... A lot easier for my units to resupply. And also, yes, I guess more dangerous, but that's the risk they're taking. Um, other than that, I'm going to post helicopters on the side, specifically this side, and shoot every tank in the side as they try to move down towards Anna. Anna, we're going to defend from mainly these four buildings with Motostrelki. Motostrel, Motostrelki, not Motostrelski. One, two, three, four. That's four. That's tw uh, 20 for each. That's 80 in total. Um, we'll get a, we'll get two VPs, mainly because they're very good in the beginning. Um, hang on, let me see, that's the Kokon M, this is the normal Kokon 55, not a real difference besides the fact that the AP power for the uh, Kokon M is a little bit higher, um, other than that, these helicopters are basically the same, that's why there's only like a 20 point difference, um, and we're gonna get, uh, Biryushas, to defend, because the AI in this likes to send a lot of helicopters over, and that's like the main point. You need to deal with those choppers before they can, you know, engage with units in your village. We're gonna get a uh, MI-24K as a spotter unit, um, and uh, where am I gonna put you? That would be a good position over here somewhere. Um, more Biryushas, yes, and another two Motostrelki for immediate reinforcements. You know, let's say one of these guys gets completely wiped out, then I have another unit to back them up immediately. Um, and that should be it. So what we're going to do is gonna immediately get going. Call these units number one, number two, make them evac, hold fire. No, not you, you're gonna sit there. Uh, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. Go over there. Go over here, go over here. We're gonna, we're totally gonna call in an MI-24V with the uh, IGLA missiles to counter the uh, helicopters that are gonna be coming in at some point. Make sure we drop all these units off at the edge of the forest, make them run in and have them go. Split up these BMPs, mainly because this way, 
Oh shit, that's not good. I mean, did actually kill a lot of my units there. We killed, they killed some more struck, it's kind of rude. Let's get an MI-24 V as soon as possible up here. Now that we, I guess we don't really need one specifically for kill infantry or to kill helicopters, but it would be nice to just have one to sit around because the uh, helicopter spam will be a lot worse at some points. All right, BMP, uh, one there, one there. Motor Strike moving up. Uh, these BMPs are all going to move up to different positions. They're not going to be of much use to me, which sounds like a, so I think I sound like a Bond villain sometimes playing this game. I feel kind of bad like sacrificing most of these basically, but it has to happen. There's actually some cover in there which I'd like to use. Uh, I want to use one of these Beryushas in there if I could. Now the point is not to have these VPs open fire on those shitty little transports that are going to be sending in, because that's just a waste of those Kokons and. Wasting Kokons is really shit, so what we need to do is we want to actually attack those gentlemen. That Kiyu Maroshiki on the hill, open up at the Kokon, one away, two away, and the damage it's going to do is going to be very little from the front. That's two down, as in like two damage, that's a little bit more damage, he's almost down, there's four more Kiyoshiki coming in, this is going to be an issue in, in, in a little bit probably. Um, Right, we got one of those Mandushukis down. There's another one, another couple coming up actually. Um, and we need to at least we need to uh, try and kill these. And if we can't kill these, we'll need to stun them for long enough so we can do enough damage. Uh, keep them there. Resupply my helicopters and fix it that way. Uh, keep Mandushukis. My guys are out of uh, Kokons already. It's kind of an issue. Let's send them back and hopefully get them resupplied in time. We did kill basically two of them. One of them is like about down to one health. BMPs, their concours don't do a lot of damage, but the damage they do is more than worth it, and that's the point. Um, that guy is basically almost dead. We're gonna get a couple. Of, we're gonna need more Motostroki to hold the line. Uh, you're gonna sit off. This guy is going to try to sort of shoot out Bentai. These guys are slowly dying. He's he's well deadish. More Storky are dying though. Get these uh, Buntai. As long as we get the like these tanks are not the main issue. As long as I can kill those tanks relatively simple. It's the infantry that is gonna overrun me, especially if there's fucking 40 infantry there. That's that's the issue right now. These Mario Shiki are, are retreating. It's not a surprise. M24K is gonna open up with the 12.7. Infantry doesn't like being fired upon by 12.7s, by the way. It's a uh, it's a thing I noticed. Alright, now he's gonna go down to the Mario Shiki. Damn it, Red Sao are being shot at by my BMP in the forest. Hopefully he's gonna fire, uh, hopefully he's gonna like, try and kill a couple, that would be good. Tow missiles coming up. Number two, number three. We need to kill these, that's, the, that's, that's also an issue, those tow units. This, this unit of Buntai got absolutely demolished, there's only one squad of them left. That's amazing. MI 24V and the Beryushas are destroying those fuckers. Jesus. Nice. Okay, the, the tow missiles are, are gone. I lost my Beryusha, but that's okay. As long as these guys don't waste our actual rockets on a fucking. Uh, like, I don't know. They, okay, that's another guy down. Okay, more Madushikis. Let's call in a lot more reinforcements. Pull in these, put them over there. Some of my VPs to keep opening fire. They're basically both dead. They need, they need like one or two more rockets. I'm not sure if those splurge rockets that are like those little, these little things. I'm not sure if they can actually kill those Mario Shikis. I'd hope they could. And that's another couple down. I, mean, I think we killed the five or six of the 16 they can have at this point. Putting my guys back again. They need to be immediately resupplied. Getting more Biryushas. This is not a battle of um to like immediately push through and win gobo this battle this first initial battle is to literally try and kill as many of those tanks as possible hopefully make sure they are all destroyed or as many of them are destroyed and in the meantime try and rape the infantry that comes with you know the transports and comes with all the units that come toward us uh, but this battle is far from you know trying to basically win like it's it's impossible hold the hold fire this battle is literally just trying to stop the the the, the, Karima, the Kiyu Marushikis, whatever they're called. There's another five of them coming in over here, which is going to be an issue really soon. Uh, hopefully my MI24 VPs are ready for combat. They seem to be. Let's turn off their weapons, have them sit on the flank, and then start opening fire. If I open fire now, they're just going to waste their, uh, their rockets as they fly into the area. 
these Kaya Marushikis. Oh, they spotted my... Alright, there's a lot of tow missiles again. I'm gonna get my MR24Ks up, my MR24V. Get the VPs ready. There is a fucking lot of stuff that's attacking me right now. Let's attack this KV-107 first if we can. I'm sure he goes down. There we go. Kiyomarushikis, that's open fire. They're actually running right towards me, which kind of sucks. So that means I'm not able to flank them. I'm 24 V needs to take care of these already. Oh, KV-107. There's my guys to carry the Kiyomarushikis. Come on, that's one miss. These guys have miniguns, so they can they will destroy my choppers if they get too close. Uh, see, they're doing damage. It's not good. Come on, MI-24. We have Virushis coming in and stuff. Okay, there's another couple down. Send them over there. Keep firing at these Kiyomarushikis. They need to die. We've got one who's basically almost down. Don't waste your rockets on those fucking 10-point transports, please. You're just being an idiot. BMPs are moving up. We got our Biryushis back there. BMPs seem to go run into the forest to hide. Don't waste your rockets on these guys. Come on. We might need to get more uh, MI24s over here if we want to win. Uh, calling in two MI24 VP or normal normal Ps. Telling him to attack this guy. Actually, let's pull him back and give him another helicopter to uh, engage. Um, my 24k hopefully just able to keep them there as long as possible bmps are opening fire with their atgms this battle is not about winning like i said it's literally about trying to keep them there as long as possible keeping especially infantry away from this entire fight we just killed one of the um kiyomaru shikis that's really good make them land get the v's to uh join up forces they can be number three, and these guys can be number four. Split these guys up so they're not actually going to fight the same target all the time. Tell them to open fire on these Kiyomarushikis. Beiruxis are in range. They're actually opening fire on these infantry, which is pretty decent. That's what they probably should be doing anyway. Uh, where can I put this Beiruxia? Over there. Right. Oh, where's the other Beiruxia? Where is it? <sighs> it needs to fire on these uh, freaking choppers before they do more damage. Come on. Okay, nice. It beat, actually, these Beryushis are destroying their uh, KV-107s. Every KV-107, every KV though, basically means that they brought up another unit of those paratroopers, which is kind of an issue, really, because they're pretty damn good, and I don't want them to get too many of those. Another Kiru, Kiru, Marushi, uh, Kiru Mar I can't even say the name anymore. Another KV, KV Marushiki down. Helicopters go up. Helicopters go down. KV... Alright, send you up here. Tell them to engage the KV-107, unload the infantry, have the motor key run over there, have the BMP, okay, that's another one down, amazing, well well done. Uh, let's focus on getting these guys down as much, much as possible. MR-24K is going to have to reload because it's out of ammo. I'm glad I got three FOBs, really, because without the three FOBs, I'd probably be in a lot of hurt. Like I said, I'm just trying to diminish their forces. It's not going to be about winning or losing this battle. It's going to be about trying to destroy as many of those Kiyomaru Shikis as possible because they cannot resupply them. That's another one down. That's an awesome job. And my 24 PPs destroying the shit. They should stop wasting missiles that are worth a lot more than that on freaking cheap ass shitty transports. And my 24 Ps are ready. Let's get them back up in the air again. Here's more BMPs to support the front lines. Get those units resupplied. Uh, we'll actually get an MI6 to land over here so we can help resupply the BMPs. We got a lot of uh, key, a lot of infantry over here. Let's deal with these infantry and transports. The MI24Vs are not very good against tanks, but they're decent enough against lights vehicles. They're 50 cals, and the fact that they have rockets makes them amazing. And then there's, the, there's these MI24VPs with their 30 millimeter, which are just a force of destruction that you do not want to encounter as a little transport over here. And they're gonna fire the rockets. <laughs> Splurge away, that's awesome. Tell these guys, yeah, actually he's fine on uh, on that position. MI24K, we're gonna need him to spot for the MI24Ps and the MI24Vs and the MI24PPs. There's a lot of uh, MI24s. Uh, there's a more, not more than a Shikis. We'll uh, take care of those. Alright, uh, Monostralkis are just not. Actually, they're in range to engage those guys. That's good. Another Biryusha. Let's tell them to go to the forest again. Um, another Biryusha over here. Uh, one more over there. Land the MI6. Have him resupply his people, especially these. They need, they need a lot more infantry again. 
Um, okay, we have uh, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, sorry. Mi the way it's because we say Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi over here, not Mitsubishi. Actually, gonna use his uh, one of his Kokon missiles against that guy if I can. Or not? Never mind. Let's turn it off. My 24 piece keep on. All right, good. Uh, we'll send one unit of these BMPs over here. Actually, if we can, and half them uh, units in this village over here, and then we'll put these guys over there and half them. Uh, actually, let's have these guys take off and land over there, so I can resupply these as well. All right, we're destroying the uh, the choppers that are coming in. There's more Huda Ren. Let's take those out if we can. That would be a good kill. Those are the uh, paratroopers with the Rokota's rifles, which is town. This getting this town is, is is a tough job. I mean, it's possible. I just need to kill as much of the tanks as possible, especially killing these Mitsubishi's. Sorry, not Mitsubishi's. Oh, not a Kido Marushiki. Turn on their rockets. Focus. Leave this guy alone. To. Uh, this creator. Oh, these guys are out of Kokons again. That's stupid. There we go. He's gonna be killed. That's good. Let's have to, these guys also fly back. I know it's a very resupply heavy uh, uh, mission or an episode probably, but it's very need. It's very needy right now. We very much need this to happen. Uh, we're struggling going there. I really want to supply these guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them in there and allow these guys to ret to come back and get their RPGs reloaded and replenished and everything. Sell the BMPs to go into the hills. But in the meanwhile, we're actually definitely destroying these uh, infantry with the 50 cals. Um, we will probably pull them back in a second after they are like they're right out of ammo again. But for now, they're perfectly fine. Let's land the helicopters back there. These guys are under a very light attack. They can definitely deal with the the. Um, Nanashikis, that's not the issue. There's a lot of infantry coming my way. They're just driving into the killing field. <laughs> this, these are both out of ammo, actually. Probably pull a mic by now. Uh, huh? Alright, these are back up. Send them up. Tell them to hold fire for now. And these guys are basically are also done. I'll tell them to hold fire on District Kokons. And these guys can actually open fire on everything as well, besides their Kokons, because they're just wasting ammo on, like, fucking shitty, shitty transports. It's just a waste of money. A lot of infantry coming away. There's a fucking lot of it. Which is good, because it gives my guys a lot of targets for their uh, splurge and for their miniguns. Which is basically the reason I only have these units to begin with. Alright, uh, MI-24Ps are going to deal with the guys on the flank. Whereas the MI-24K and the MI-24VPs are going to deal with these large units over here. Airborne, normal line infantry, uh, mixing with each other, easy kills, we're destroying them from 40 to 0 in a couple of seconds, easy kills, easy life, the helicopter crews are gonna suffer from PTSD after this probably, but, you know, they have to defend Russia, or I guess they have to attack Japan. We might actually be able to uh, take down all their points, which would still be a very good victory, um, and we are destroying them. We haven't really lost anything besides like a lot of infantry. Well, a lot. Like a couple of infantry. I think like a couple of Biryushas, like uh, let's see, probably like five, three? Two or three Biryushas and a couple of BMPs. But that's, you know, that's such as the price of war, I think. Uh, let's push this guy up to over here. It's the BRDM on hold fire over in this forest. These guys are already low on their freaking 30 millimeter. That's fine though. They're, they're doing a great job. It's, they're doing exactly what I need them to do. Um, we're just gonna try and find helicopters, try and find those remaining Q Marushikis, because that's the point of this objective of this mission. Like I said, we need to kill those first. That's what, no, that, that's not whatever, never mind. That's one of the ones I need to kill. More infantry. You can destroy those pretty easily. Actually, let's make these guys go back and reload. It's just their like their their main gun that has has to be reloaded, really. So it shouldn't be an issue. Destroy these Han. One quarter battle time remaining. That's fine. You can easily destroy these folks. Still up the Kokon missiles on those guys left, which is good. Center secured. So the enemy is somewhere. Oh, I mean, obviously there's a, there's a CV unit somewhere. Hopefully we can find it. Let's see if we can spread out a little bit. What are these coming in? Are these tanks? There's infantry. Oh boy. I'm gonna send my 24Vs over there. 
Actually, let's see what this, uh, let's see, yeah, let's see what the infantry that's over there. It's like another, like, 80 infantry there, probably, or whatever it is. Alright, let's see what those. Sent the uh, recon over there. Deal with these uh, infantry. Oh. Guess we're not gonna deal with them. Oh, there's more infantry that should be shot at over there. Alright, first we're gonna take out the rent size, apparently. They're just light, they're just light vehicles, but right now we're just, you know, we're, we're pretty close to winning, and it'd be nice to finish this off and, uh, and right before the timer ends and at least be declared a victor you know point wise because that's where this like happens is about Let's see if we can it'd be very cool if i could take down one of our cvs over here really but just gonna focus on the infantry make sure these guys are on the uh, hold on open fire with the rockets try not to lose one of these guys come on they are gonna probably die Oh, ah, fuckers. He just kept getting stunned with an idiot. The second they get stunned, they're fucked. That's kind of, kind of sucks. Lost one of my M24Vs. That's kind of a waste. I must be honest, that's kind of a shitty way to lose that unit at all. But, you know, that sucks. M24Ps are just going to open for open foyer. Try and kill as many units as possible. That really sucks. I didn't actually want that to happen. But I guess I couldn't, I don't know. It just... I, pr I was trying to micro too many things at the same at the like same time and I fucked up. Let's see if we can uh, get a couple more. That's another one. Here's some infantry. Hopefully, oh no 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 no. Okay, it's Hans. Never mind. If, if those were twenty normal infantry, I probably would have lost. If I kill both of these and I am victorious today, so let's kill one of them. I guess we killed this unit probably over there. All right, so we did destroy the Eastern Engineers Battalion and we destroyed the Armored Training Battalion, which means that we basically took care of their most annoying stuff, which it means that they're not they're, they're not Oshikis are, are gone. Now the only thing they have left is literally half of this force is cargo. There's four CVs and two FOBs, so this is uh, 24 out of the 36 units are logistics that can't fight back. One of two of them are even buildings. Um, and then the other 14 units left are Han Buhans, CVs, and a couple of uh, helicopters resupply. So the next battle in Goba will be a very easy one. And we didn't really lose that much besides one MI-24V, which really sucks. And a lot of... Well, we lost three Bilyush and some 13 Motor Strelke. And that's it, I think. So that was a very good battle. Um, right now, I... Cannot, cannot attack here because the attack the um, amount of initiative and I think they're they'll probably attack me next turn. However, we should have an airfield in the next no not the next turn but the turn after I will have an airfield, and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to comments suggestions and tips on what to do next. Obviously fight the Battle of Gobo be victorious. What should I do next? Leave like. The infantry here, buy more infantry and attack Obama, attack Obama with support of units, pull these two together and attack Masuda, pull these two together and attack Obama, pull these two together and attack Karatsu. It's, there's so many options, so many things to do, um, and I really would appreciate uh, some help, you know, some, um, some suggestions in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers! This love that you never started You once destroyed A broken heart that was already shattered Holding on to what we have You take us to the edge and back